the lethargic dignitas who really don't look like they want to go for it. Spike planted. planted. Yeah, they, they might just look to try and hold them in. By the, they only have pistols into this round, so even just taking away weaponry from spot up, making things costly, reducing the economy that they have, that would look pretty good for them. And in all honesty, there's some weaponry in there for spot up that they're not going to want to lose. And already, the timing could work out for us as well. Rustin will eventually kill off one of his teammates, but that flank is still coming. There's a player looking to try and pincer in Sam, holding off one, and there you go. That's a, a free Guardian. That's something they could just easily take into the next round, and they're still holding these players into the spike. They're looking to try and kill as many people as humanly possible. Another couple drop. This is so costly for spot up. Laying onto Dignitas at this point, but they're still yet to get off the board. One down. Well, it's all well and good doing a lot of damage but if you don't convert the rounds behind it it becomes somewhat worthless and they have lost the opening pick definitely not the start they were looking for death well, he's had two very different maps one was fantastic the other was very quiet but it seems like it's super instead to come back with a triple kill leaving bunny all alone normally we talk about rounds like this being more of a bonus but this is no bonus ryan this is a lot of their money spent invested expended into this right round and he's got to try and win himself a 1v3 and in this sort of situation with the spike down and held off by dark cover i don't see a way back into this still got to try check in some of these angles but dignitas are smart they've changed up their position just a little bit there's still 30 seconds left the fault line is gonna be hitting onto the rainer What's up? Maybe something's come off the back of this blade storm. You really need to do some damage here, and he does manage to find one. Pick up a rifle as well. You kind of hope that he drops that over to a teammate, but at the moment there's not really anybody to come back and retrieve it. He'll drop it to the side, and you can see the push forward to get that gun back into play. They've made this one look pretty competitive. As said, there was very little invested into this round. Just some light armor purchased for the blade storm to go alongside. Death with only a stinger, likely to try and lead the charge here. And in the faces of his opponent, and there rolls in the thunder. It's a nice shot though coming out from Kampeki. He's found another with the blade storm, but they're being held back here, unable to push. And Rustin in such a good position, he's going to hear them running away. He may even look to try and take some of the weaponry. It was nice positioning from Rustin to be alert. It really got into Dignitas's head because they stacked the majority of them towards Cloud and then Trave, but they backed off yet again. They're doing damage, though, giving up this round to spot up. Seems like there's some information had, in fact. You can see that from the shadows used back into the site, and Odorus is going to be completely caught out. That seems to be the case in a fair few of these rounds, and again, it's an advantage going to spot 30 up seconds as they left. take the site. Like, has had that lockdown. They even bring out the Empress. They're fully going for it. Big dedication can easily come out. No this is going to make it run. difficult for Spot to get out, but the Hunter's Fury is good. It's just going to clear this ultimate. It doesn't bother them at all. It's checkmate for them, and that's a really nice play to use that ultimate to counter them out. Zamno has made a lot of progression. And the Eldra does spot his positioning, but if he gets one kill, he can get out of there. It's just a 2v2 now. Death just wants to do a bit more damage. It's keeping Spot up in check. They're still fighting for these engagements. Right all the way to Boathouse. Oh, Figment no. can at least get one in the smoke. Death is just going to make sure that they all die in the same process. But Figment, that's a key pick. Because it stops this fight from the bottom of this map pick. This is the fight that they want to see. It's going to plan and Death just wanted to face a little bit more. Didn't have really that much to work with, but the A-Site is very much open for business. It's a been nice execute from Spot Up. And I like the way that they're contesting certain areas of the map just to make sure that they can pass. Can't necessarily just take them for free. Placing Swarm Grenade. Swarm Grenade out. It's worth noting that this round definitely doesn't have the same level of investment as we've seen over the last few for Dignitas. They've finally been forced into an eco position, so they don't have much to lose. Good Nano Swarm, but in fact, it's actually Odorous through the wood with a ghost. Somehow, this is probably the best retake that we've seen so far from them. And, uh, it's not going too badly up until the point where they try and find the players in a crossfire. And one by one, they fall. It's left on to Sam. A little bit quiet so far. We know that he can have 
these explosive moments, but in this point, he's just trying to hold a few players into the site. It doesn't work. It's just really the lockdown on the Hunter's Fury. This is going to be a very quick face. It's a nice fault line. Just but told herself kill, but he's right out in the open. He's going to get punished by Rustin yet again. He's aggressive. Faces for Dignitas are just falling apart. At least Sam could do some damage. He gets two, but Bunny is going to trade him out. It's a three versus two, which, to be honest, is good for Dignitas. Because spot up just read them like a book and they punished it hard. But they got hit hard themselves. Death is giving this a damn good go. A great nano swarm into the corner. It's gonna fly around the spot the Tucker was in, and he's fallen as well. It's left all on to one. Hampeki, he's got his knives out, one ready to roll. Finds the first kill with ease, and it's left into that 1v1 situation to try and close another round to give them a seventh to spike ticket in his screen. But he does it! Land him. He survives far longer than expected, but it will be super to give them a second round. I'm a little bit disappointed, if anything, for space a bit more on B, but it's going to be a very fast execute on the side of bottom. Nice play from Kampeki. You love to see this kind of aggressive play, but there's always a bit of a caveat. A gun, at least, in their hand. A Bucky in the hands of Figment is going to be the one planting. It's just a case whether Dignit has to use some of these ultimates, whether they feel it's worthwhile going into this eco execute to spot up and put together. And the answer's yes. The, yeah, the, the thing that I was going to say is their retakes have been great so far, so I think it's important they just make sure they get this round through, and Death, he's going to make sure of it. A triple he's spray still? down. It will be started to pick up a little bit more crisp Ryan, but they're going to have to give it another go. Same start as last time as Def does manage to get the opener. He's given this back into a 4v4. In fact, another one for Def, even while completely blind. It's looking like he's trying to just carry his team through. A third, in fact, as they now start to slip away without Def on the board. It seems one like everything just goes one wrong for Dignitas, and it's left Ooh. all on to Odorous. A one versus one situation. He's going to smoke onto the spike, try and bait in his opponent for a peek, but his opponent is not peeking whatsoever, just waiting in the corner. Eventually will come round, and he knows at this point, he knows that Odorous isn't defusing, trying again to bait him in, but it's done. It's over. Big Mint just plays with his opponent, doesn't even have to do anything to win the round. And as mentioned, it seems like... Oh, his aftershocks have been pretty clinical so far. And spot up starting to outthink themselves a little bit here. They have no information it's going to be big. It's left. just the fact, really, at this point, that Rustin's playing off the corridor completely. This execute's going to be pretty impactful. I think it has a really good paranoia. Nice pick from Kampeki to at least get one. The rotation should come in shortly after this plan. Spike planted. And I like took his position in here because he knows that death is there. The alarm bot has been placed. He knows exactly where it is. He can work around it. Almost like they're trying to bait him into a bit of a peak, even still though. That's not a bad start. Actually, Depp's gonna get a kill off the back of the Nano Swarm. They've even things back up an aggressive position though from Super, and there's no trade available. The lockdown has gone down. They need to get rid of it before they can do anything, but they will. And now it's left all onto one map. Right, very quickly. But I do think that that pick is... Oh, Kampiki's in an awful spot here. He's flashed out completely, but he's not giving away his positioning. They've ignored him, and he's good for one. He can get a couple at least. But Dignitas, yet again, doing some damage to the spot up before we get into this post-plant position. Both these teams have been beaten and bloody before they even get to play around this fight. Yeah. Uh, this needs to be one of those big rounds. The problem is both players already tagged, and hell of a lot of utility that's always the problem with these faster takes is your opponents I'm don't use a lot of their grenades they don't use any of their abilities available to them and they have them all for this retake in fact they One even have rolling thunder if they need it but i don't think they're gonna waste it they don't it's need so it low. it's left all onto one it's super in the back just sitting in the boathouse trying to hold off versus multiple players the first kills clean the second not quite as it will be the defusal coming in for spot up. Again, a few mistakes coming in for Dignitas. A, a corner not Jimmy Bugman and Renegades. It's gonna be losing there. It's been much better from spot up. It's a nice pick on Tassan. The operator is still in place and Dignitas, this is a big round, and that's a big kill. Rustin can at least bring it to a neat three versus three, but it means that these fights are so clinical now. They're from the shadows used to make sure that the omen can get onto site at least.
and it allows Dignitas to play a bit more in your face to spot up, but Odorous almost getting caught out there. Look at Death. He could be the clinical man. He's managed to flank all the way round and picked off Tucker, and now the remaining defenders are stuck because they either have to look to try and kill him off or They're take the site and force him to push them. But they would need to kill both of these players very quickly. And they like, oh, one burst. Odorous <gasps> actually gets dinged up and they've killed off both. Now Dev has to go running. He needs to get into the site because otherwise oh, this is just going to be diffused. And oh, I don't think there's no. anything he can do about it. Even going to expend now, the ultimate to shut him down and him to deny it. Unless they want to put their own lock down which is actually what they might plan to do. They do have that ability available to them if they want to try and defend it. Bunny, however, is going to find two kills before he actually exits the round. And now Rustam has you done it run. too. It's left all onto Super. He's stuck in between a literal rest on SMGs. So if they were to win this round, it would be an absolute atrocity for Dignitas and you'd have to start to look at the question what's Perfect gone wrong. Death though is going to kill off his counterpart. Spike this leaves the remaining players basically just considering just throwing some weapons into this one. Just try and take as much away from your opponents as you can and Death in the meantime started rotating back but he's going to be caught and now that's a, a free rifle upgrade that they can take into the next round or try to use to hold off some remaining players. And it is pulling Macker away from the site. He's going to be just looking at A lobby just in case his flank comes in. And really at this point, it's constrict Dignitas. Make sure that some of them go down in this process. They're going to throw a paranoia up and can pick. He can at least get a couple of eggs. Same as Bunny now. It's a two versus two. Really no time for the retake in, but that's not the point of this area of the map. Sam gets free. He's going to survive with his life. And I'm pretty sure Dig can actually win off the Here. back. Of weaponry now. Yeah. And heck, he's already spotted one out. Question is, is he going to get pressured and pushed down? Ooh. He gets away with the second kill. Dashes away. Shouldn't get anything more into Odorous, but it doesn't matter. He bought time. And that was enough for Tucker to find an extra kill. Even still, though, Deploying Death has traded things back. He was a bit quiet when it came to their last map. Okay. Planted. Had some real troubles and then brought things back on the final match of the day. Either way, looking a lot better this time. Rusted oh. was the star of the show in the first, but he can't quite close it out this time. Maka will give Dignitas their second. And now for spot up, the money might be a little bit iffy. More ultimates online for them now. Tucker with the showstopper. We haven't really seen any Rays play at all today, so having that ultimate to open up a frag, to open up a site even, just to sort of clear up some of the retakes is going to be key for them. Some buy-ups in cases for Figment, as his money was good from the save that we saw just before. The Dignitas very much in the driving seat way. on attack now, and the Blade Storm is going to be used. Most likely at this point, it will be from the side of Spot Up. And Becky is wanting to face a little bit with the help of the paranoia from Pigment. They're going to be pushing down here, but all they find is that turret. Nice play from Dickman to avoid it, and they even get the frag in him, so that ultimate's not going to find much else. Yeah, so spot up in this round. It's looking pretty bleak. The C site completely under the control. The attacker, Sam, also finding a kill while lurking on the other side of the map. With just two players remaining. I think what they can really hope for, Ryan, is a, a few exit kills here and there. They can retrieve a slight upgrade when the remaining is a bit more costly. But for now, they're just getting picked apart. Perfectly placed. A full it's an aggressive push. We're going to see the battle of the Jets potentially. One Although they kind of get distracted a little bit. Maybe not for death this though. As he peeks in with an out. impactful double. Two openers to start things off. And now things look pretty damn troublesome. Now of course the one thing I will say is if you're playing a, a triple duelist. I kind of expect you to do b better on the attack. And you're going to need these sort of plays. But. Thus far, it hasn't been going particularly well over the last few rounds for Spot Up. I think Dignitas have been playing the pressure game really well, certainly when it comes to A. It's one of the reasons why Spot Up with Foster playing aggressive play might do it again. Look at this, another peak coming through. Odorous is lucky not to die there. In that case, 16 HP, 
It's going to pick up the pace for Dignitas. But I do think the planting of B would be a big mistake considering the pressure that's already there. Look at the position of Figment. He's right on this side. Showstopper is going to be used. It's going to find something. It finds Supper. And sooner enough, Spot can bring his back a little bit. But they check this angle. No, Maka can get one, but he's traded left. out. Mike hasn't even been planted yet at this point because all of this pressure coming in from Spot Up, they brought it back. Get this is a really way. difficult position to be in from death. A bit of a mistake to go for this site. Now they need one to sort of bring it back. Play Soul comes out. It's not going to be used. Death brings it to a one versus one. Kill oh. versus cover. Look at the health though of Rust and Death gets four. Key round for Dignant has to win with the Hunter's Fury. Can't even really get any damage here, but Rustin's still in this position. What are you telling to do? Run out to try and clear him, but he's still alive. But Tucker coming to the rescue. He's good for him, Rustin. Much better from spot up. Dignitas had a straightforward affair with executing onto the site, but it's actually almost flawless from spot up. They just dealt with everything that was thrown at them. And they bring it three to five. Oh, but for now, he's going to have to peek into death. He actually wins it. The tap comes out off the back of the Vandal and well, the headshot is enough. Yeah, I like the fact that they put the Rainer there because I think Death was expecting to be peaked by an op again. So the Vandal was a very big surprise, but shout out to the rest of Spot Up that have been playing the rest of this map perfectly. Sat back and even positioning from Tucker. Dignitas aren't going to be happy with the way that B has been looking so far, but they've taken a good amount of space. And Tucker loses that! That was a sick flick from Sam, but luckily Rustin can get the kill. Some of these kills for Dignitas have been out of clear air, but Spot Up are at least trying to bring his back a little bit. This B site is a mess from both teams at this point, but it makes it super exciting. 30 seconds left. And Maka can't even plant the spike at this point because Kampeki's just staring him down. Odorous gets caught out from that angle, and there's a nice little pincer from Spot Up. Maka's got to try and make a play. Is he going to try and pick this? He does get the kill onto that, so it's all up now Figment to try and make a play. He peeks. Finds that pick and doesn't really take much damage in response. Sam will retrieve the operator, but they have managed to gain control of the seaside. Now seaside retakes are not run. something we've really witnessed too much so far, but there goes at least the ult to try and deny their pressure. They will gain a little bit of extra space. The lockdown and the jump over. It's Kampeki to find a pick back. Now they'll just take the isolation. They'll leave and let Super have his sight. The fact is the rest of the team are coming back through in full force. He's managed to catch one though on the edge of the smoke. Bring it into a one versus two. A possible scenario, but the spray doesn't quite connect. It will be spot up to take themselves a fifth round. Again, it's close, Thanks. but this time we haven't out. seen successfully at all so far. Maybe they can deny them before they even get to the B site. That's the new plan. They just fight them before they get to B. And they can't retake it off us. If they let this one flip, Brian, it would be an absolute mess. A three versus five. Both Empress is used at the same time. We're going to see a showstopper extended, but it's off the back of a trade, so that's absolutely fine. And well, it's left all onto one man, just floating Whoa. above, trying to avoid the ult, but he's actually found two. I don't see a way that he wins this just because of the remaining positioning. He's going to try and just stick out the defuse and Maka will be there to close uh, a similar shout really at this point but super sees them all the paranoia is going to be good to get them but might not be much follow-up going on and superman is going to be looking to hold on to his life but he even gets kampeki and this is a very scrappy affair though another pretty decent execution spot up but there's still two dignitas players waiting for this retake and this is a bonus Back round planted. again like some of their players didn't even buy any armor going into this so they need to make sure that this round goes back to the home of Dig, and unfortunately for now, it's not looking good. It's Maka left in the clutch. They're going to try and keep him together, no. but he gets both headshots. What a clutch from him. He keeps this round in their favor, an 8-7, to seven. but it, it has the same result. They know exactly where they're going to be, a nice start from Death and Maka. They find the opening kills. Maka continues from the last round. And it doesn't really matter how many players they lost in the last one because they're keeping the spot very clean indeed. Not a single player lost. Barely in. Massive push coming in very quickly from Kanteki. That's going to be a good lay, but they haven't spotted Superman. Nobody's even really checking him, but they have four pistols pointing at him towards the end at least. And Maka actually using the Hunter's Fury is interesting. Again, he's good for two. Figment's last alive with this ghost. He's 
surrounded by Dignitas players to catch him out. Another really good round for Dignitas. A lot of omens have caught people out in the matches that we've even seen today. Even the spray is pretty good, but can't get a frag, but he is expecting these players. Rotation even going to come in. Dignitas have such a good read on this. You can spot a push them through. You should run. So lucky that he hasn't found anything here. It won't matter though, now he can see his opponent. It's the same job nonetheless, and everything's falling apart for spot up. One by one, losing their lives. Rustin doing a good job to at least try and hold on, but Got he has to, to back out so that he is not really get caught. It's all falling apart. They've lost another three with the little guns that they have, but they are going to run right into Sam. If they can get a frag, they can't. I think he goes down. He's able to get a few, string them together, and even survive a little bit longer. His team are going to be there. The spike is not even on the site, ready to be planted. Things are looking good. Today. Not quite so lucky. And the push from Sam's continuing, even while blind, though. Five health. Kampeki will be able to get the kill just. They have been so good putting pressure in multiple areas of the map. Very hard to do on split, but they are going to be breaking through to A with the majority of the defenders moving from the site. The tripwire is going to pull them back a little bit, though, but it's more of a bait. They are very much ready to hit onto this B site with this amount of heaven control. Sure, you've got Tucker there waiting, and we do see the camera giving a bit of intel, but doesn't have any utility to stop them. This bot line is going to stun him. Hasn't been overrun, but that was an opportunity for Dignitas to punish Spotter just a little bit more. But they're hanging on by a thread. 30 seconds kind of left. All the luck for them. But they're able to do quite a little bit of damage with two kills. Makado brings it to a two versus two. And Toka's showstopper gets Spike absolutely planted. nothing. All look for Figment to get a play. He's low health, but luckily, so is Odor, so he gets a frag onto. Now it's just going to be Maka, who has been so good on the silver. He's two health. They're going to run into each other on this corner, and Figment actually gets it with a headshot, too. Didn't matter if he was 2 health, 20, or even 102. Nice frag for Spollop to get him off the board, but man, these rounds are getting so close. This is looking to be a, a, a mean execute onto the site. The yeah, Aftrop's going to be used to play that corner. The flash is coming through, and it's a high dunk from Odorous onto Rustin. Nobody else is on the site other than the camera, which is obviously going to be useless. This follow-up rotation is going to be slow. They don't really have too much over the Kampeki with a blade storm and an operator. And Tucker's found the only thing, at least towards A ramp. A lot of pressure put towards this point, and Bunny's able to get quite a lot of work done. One more frag is a rolling fund. They might not necessarily need it, and Kampeki's brought out the blade storm. It's four versus two. So much invested in this round, they now have to take it away, but One Super doing a good ending. job at the back of the site. He's going to get his second kill, but it will be Bunny to close. Fantastic retake. It's all very awkward for them when they do go for the push. We can see the, from the shadows into the back of the site. They go 30 seconds the left. This could be a big lurk, though. I really like the position in the boat, as he's been there the whole time. Tucker's expected it, though. Mal play from him, but he doesn't win the duel. Odorus gets a nice flick headshot in, and he's just going to be more of a nuisance. It's just going to be Rustin now. You know, at least get a frag onto a weakened Odorus, but he shouldn't have needed to take that fight. That really should have been Tucker's to keep a hold on it. Really nice play from Dignitas. Totally different from the last execute, right? That was full power. Oh, eventually hits the shit time it right with the guns that they have. 30 seconds left. Paranoia is nigh on perfect, and Tucker does at least manage to take Shadow one with him. The problem Stanley. being, though, Five locked out of the sight, at least for the moment. Stack was almost pushed into. Right Bunny there. takes another one down. They're at least making this one a bit more costly for Dignitas. The question is, can the remaining two players pull off a miracle? One I'd be very remaining. surprised if they get anything done here in death. He's just farming up. Good luck from Dignitas. It's been few and far between today. It's not been the best of days that they've had, but they're enjoying things at the moment. Can Pecky, not for the first time tonight at least, caught out aggressively peeking with that operator yeah. and provides Dignitas a bit of an opening on a key round. I really love the, the odorous Psalm like duo taken towards the A site. I, it, it, they've come in as a tag team and it just seems to be so deadly every time they I go know, out. Exactly. I'm sure they lose a player elsewhere, but it doesn't seem to matter. This man likes to pick up the operator at times, but his rifling has been superb so far in this map. 
He will eventually fall, which gives some space for planted. the defensive side. And they've managed these retakes before. However, this one's not going to be easy. They've already lost Ow. a lot of HP on Pataka, who will this eventually fall to death. And this time they do. He played quite a bit of ground. The this flash is, is nigh on perfect as well. And it comes on to just one. And they've spotted him out as well. The Cypher normally there to defend at the beginning. Going this time was on the other side of the map. Tries to challenge, but putting up numbers. And they have been and on the attacking side as well. It is going to be a straight up B hit. Again, Death's going to be oh, leading the charge. Playing that almost entry frag a roll here. Oh, there's been ults expended. It's a chance One for Tucker to do some damage. And it looks like they're going to have a third at least. Last man standing, Odorous. He's been superb so far, I have to admit. But this has to be a bridge too far. This has to be a moment for Spot Up where they step up. More importantly, kill this man without losing too many members. Outrun me? Checking for a cypher camera, I think. Of... And they would be happy to go 9 and 3 up in half time. The ideal scenario, and that's a great start for himself, at least. <laughs> to keep things somewhat competitive. Satchel out. The problem is the amount of control that's been gained elsewhere could become a bit of a problem for them. The flank, however, coming through the ropes could actually make things a little bit more interesting. A free kill for the Pentecki. Now they have to turn around and finally, with a hammering from some of these more experienced squads, but they're still here. The showstopper, though, is wanting to put that to bed. It misses, but it still gets a kill on to Kampeki that has to play and dash a little bit more aggressively just to survive. I like the idea, but much like a lot of plays for Kampeki, it's not what? gone well. Maka just gets oh, no. the straightforward spray onto Bunny. Spot up, picking up a bit of momentum with that last round win. He's not looking to continue it here. Yeah, that was the, the bonus round as well for Dig. So they're in a perfect position to just break straight back. The paranoia, they can't even push off that. I'm, I'm not sure if the timing was a little bit off, but the nano swarm just leaves it, but they can't do anything. Nice paint shell at least, but Death still gets the kill. One enemy remains. And they are falling flat. This combo again oh. in the heavens is sending oh. them to hell. But Figment's managed to find three kills in the space of a second. I don't know if he'll expect the push, and well, it doesn't matter. 11 to 5, it's a little bit more costly, but... But Dignitas, their aim is to qualify. Their aim is to sort of get through all of this. Um, can't get one, though. Nice aggression coming out of Rustin and the rest of Spot Up. Breaking through to Mail Death is nice position, and he has been sublime so far. Kampeki is going to make sure that he can't get too much done. Super's on the back of the site, making sure that it's going to again be costly for Spot Up even before they get the spike planted. And Odorus gets another to 3v3. Ooh. Straight through the cage, and things are starting to become really problematic. This was a round that looked like it was sealed for Spot Up, and instead, Dig have fought back tooth and nail. And the timing here could be everything. Odorous is caught with his blade out. And leaves things back. Now, Kampeki no knows in this sort of scenario, he needs to be the one to go big. His teammates what? low, and the timing looked good, but they don't find the kills. It's super with a triple and an easy defusal in the end. Plenty of time. But Depth's locked out. He's playing very far back. Another execution up has been fairly decent from Spot Up. But the operator's in play from Depth. He's actually good for one, getting a kill onto Tucker. Kampeki's going to try and avenge him. Closing that distance, but he does get caught out by Supper. It's a five versus three. The rolling fund that's available on the attack. But that lockdown's looking to get punted by Depth. Spike planted. This could be the beginning of the end. Spot Up needs to put everything they can into this round. and. Well, it starts off with the Rolling Thunder, that however, it's really actually the oh, Denial no. coming in, and Maka manages Let's to pick go. up two. Some great positioning of the Nano Swarm, and now Rustin has to try and kill everybody, and he will not be able to. Dignitas are going to carry on in this tournament. They will face off against the likes of either Envy or Sentinels. And unfortunately oh, no, no, for Spot Up, it was a valiant effort.